hey, I have a seven figure business as a freelance makeup artist. And people often ask me how. And I think a lot of people would assume that what helped me to take my business to that next level was fancy branding or fancy website or some kind of secret marketing strategy. And yes, to a certain extent, marketing is always going to be an important part in growing any business. But that wasn't the game changer for me. In order to grow my business to five figures, then six figures, and eventually seven figures, I had to address what was up here and what was in here. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the number one mindset shift that helped me to become a seven figure earning makeup artist without being a celebrity artist, working in film and TV, or having any special industry connections. There is nothing special about my situation, but I did it. And as your virtual makeup mogul mentor, I'm going to share a concept that if you sit with it and really let it marinate and begin to integrate into your life, it can change everything for you. So let's get into it. What's up everyone? My name is Tiana Robinson and I am a freelance makeup artist and beauty business coach for solo beauty pros. Welcome to my channel where I post videos every week-ish to help you gain more clarity and confidence on how to diversify your income and run your beauty business like a mogul. On this channel, I share real strategies and we have real conversations about how to make real money as a working freelance makeup artist. So if I could climb into your brain and read your mind right now, here's what I know about you. You are passionate about being a makeup artist and making women look and feel amazing. You want to make more money. You want to attract dream clients and be booked consistently. You also want to have a life where you have freedom and flexibility, where you don't have to worry about where your next check is coming from. You want to be able to do what you love and have impact and leave a legacy. Basically, you want to have a good life. We all have goals and aspirations for our business. But listen, as someone who at this point has coached, oh my God, thousands of beauty pros at every level from beginner to advanced in my free business trainings that I offer throughout the year and also in my paid coaching programs, I've noticed that there are two distinct types of makeup artists. On one hand, there's a group of makeup artists that I call Hopeful Hannahs. These are the artists that have goals for their business, but their goals always stay a hope and a wish and a prayer. It's it's always like one day, <laughs> one day I'm going to do this or one day I'm going to do that. But for some reason, they're never able to get out of their own way so that they can manifest their vision. And on the other hand, you have mogul mollies. And these are the artists that are out here about their business. They have a goal and they go out and get it. No excuses. They're posting their work on Instagram. They're constantly showing up. And honestly, it doesn't even matter if they're the best artists in a long time. They're not, <laughs> but they believe in themselves. And so they're showing up and showing out. They are the artists in your city that seems to be getting all the best clients and all the best opportunities. And you just sit back and you're like, what the heck is going on? Like, how are they killing it like this? And for the longest time, I could not figure out the difference. What makes a mogul Molly and what makes a hopeful Hannah? And I realized that it's not necessarily your location because some of my students are mogul Mollies in small, unheard of towns. Like one of my mentees, Aloris, who's having regular five figure months and she lives in a tiny town in South Carolina. And it's also not necessarily how long you've been a makeup artist because my student Angela started working with me literally a month after she became a makeup artist and she's also now having five figure months. So what I've discovered that separates hopeful Hannah's from mogul Molly's is their perspective and the way that they approach business. So here's how hopeful Hannah's think. Hopeful Hannah will have a goal. She'll say something like, I want to make $5,000 per month in my business. So she does dream big, but then her logical mind kicks in and she'll start to say things like, man, I could never, I could never have that now. But when I have more time or when I have more followers or when I have more confidence in my work or when I have the perfect Instagram or the perfect website or the perfect branding, then I'll create more content. Then I'll start posting more. Then I'll start putting myself out there. Then I'll start doing all of the things that I need to do to grow my business. And one day in the future, I'll actually be successful. But I'll only go after it after everything is perfect and exactly how I want it to be first. So hopeful Hannah's have what's called a have 
do be mindset. Meaning, even though she desperately wants to grow, she desperately wants to be successful, she convinces herself that, man, that can never be me because I have to wait until I have everything lined up and perfect before I can ever really put myself out there and go for it. Let's talk about why hopeful Hannah's think this way. Honestly, it's a protection mechanism. If you can convince yourself that the only way that you can be successful as a makeup artist is if you have everything figured out first and everything perfected first, subconsciously, you never allow yourself to just go for it because deep down inside, there's a little piece of you that doesn't believe that someone like you that doesn't have everything perfect can actually be successful. So basically, if you're a hopeful Hannah, you subconsciously tell yourself that success requires everything that you're not because you probably don't have the perfect branding and you probably don't have the perfect website or IG feed and you probably don't have hours and hours to spend on posting on Instagram. And so what ends up happening is even though you want success bad, and I know you do, you constantly sabotage yourself and get in your own way or stop yourself from going all in. Listen, this have do be mindset is just your brain's way of trying to keep you safe from possibly being judged or trying and then failing. And if you find yourself stuck in the pattern of self-sabotage or procrastination or taking a few steps forward and then 10 steps back, you are so not alone. And it is so not your fault. Honestly, 99% of people operate this way because this is the way that most of us are taught to think about our goals. We are taught to go to school and get a degree and get married and then have kids and do everything in the right order first and then you can go for it. But mogul mollies are the 1% that don't think that way. There's this TikTok that I love where the girl is like, be delusional. Be delusional. Would everybody talk about this whole be realistic? And in a lot of ways, she is right. What sets mogul mollies apart is that they have the exact opposite approach to growing their beauty business. They understand that if they want to achieve their goals and manifest their dream life as a makeup artist, they first have to be successful in their mind and do the things that a person who already has achieved the goal would do consistently. And then they know they'll get the things that they want to have. Okay, so a lot of beauty pros think that in order to be successful, it really depends on external factors like how many followers you have, like having the perfect business, like just having everything perfect before they can really go for it. And I promise you that is not the thing. So what sets Hopeful Hannah's apart from Mogul Molly's is Hopeful Hannah's wait until everything is perfect perfect and they convince themselves that they can't be successful until everything is perfect, which is that have do be mindset. When I have it, then I'll do it and then I can be successful. But mogul mollies, meaning the people that are going to be the most successful in their business, have the opposite mindset and the opposite approach. They're like, listen, I might not have the perfect business. I may not be located in a major city, but I'm going to crush it anyway. And so they live in a be, do, have mindset, meaning I'm going to be the type of person that can be successful right now, that I'm gonna do all the things that will attract success to me. And then through that process, I will have the business that I wanna have and have the results that I wanna have and the lifestyle that I want. All right, so that's the point. And uh, now I'm gonna give you some steps and some tips to step into your mogul molly dim. All right, bye. So let's just say you have a goal of making six figures. So as your mentor, my first question to you is, are you being or embodying the characteristics or habits of a six figure earner? And if you don't know what that looks like, I would encourage you to start studying the habits of successful people. And you can do that by identifying successful business owners that you admire and just start watching their YouTube videos or their interviews or reading their books or listening to their podcasts. When you start studying the habits of successful or wealthy people, you're going to start noticing patterns. So for me, I realized that I had to do the work to tackle the limiting beliefs I had about myself. And I had to heal my relationship with money. I had to develop new habits like waking up early or creating a morning routine and creating structure in my day. And all of these little tweaks allowed me to begin to embody success first. So the question that I want you to ask yourself is when it comes to my goal, and literally you can just write it down, write down your goal. 
what type of person do you need to be to achieve it? Do you need to be the type of person who keeps their word to themselves or the type of person who is good with money or the type of person who doesn't care what other people think? Or do you need to be the type of person who is courageous and easily connects with others or the type of person who is proactive and doesn't wait until the last minute? That one was for me. <laughs> so then the next step is you want to examine what people who already have the goal that you want, what do they do? Like what are those things that they do consistently that leads to their success? Do they post every day on social media? Do they have packages instead of a la carte pricing? Do they have amazing photos of their work? Like what are they doing differently? Now, let me be clear. The intention here is not to copy them, but success leaves clues. So I want you to study the things that they might be doing so that you can have more insight about where you might be falling short. And then I want you to begin incorporating these things into your daily life bit by bit because success is a habit. I love this quote I found by Bob Baker and he says, success is not a destination you reach. It's actually not something that you work towards. Success is a quality inside you that you bring into everything that you do. I love that. Listen, you want to be hired by beauty brands to work on their campaigns? Go out and link up with a beauty photographer in your city, get a model and create a mock-up campaign right now. Go test and network and be inquisitive and figure out what the artists who are consistently getting those bookings, what are they doing that you can start doing right now? Your vision is your vision and sometimes you need to create it first so that other people can see how dope you are. Want to be a celebrity makeup artist that's working red carpets? Do red carpet quality makeup right now. But Tayana, what if my work isn't good enough yet? Do what you have to do to get it there. Practice relentlessly. Invest in training to strengthen your artistry. Study red carpet makeup. Learn your references. Go out and put yourself in position to make the right connections. You've got to become obsessive and relentless in your craft. And most importantly, be who you say you want to be out loud and in public. Because what you project is what you attract. Friend, I want you to stop waiting until your circumstances change or for the time to be right or for you to have more money or for someone else to see your talent and then put you on. You have everything you need within you right now to put yourself on. Make yourself undeniable right now because I promise you, if you be and do long enough, you will eventually have whatever it is that you desire. Understanding this one principle is what gave me the courage to build a seven figure business, even while other people were saying, who she thinks she is? No one even knows her. She's not even that good of a makeup artist, baby. I am who I believe I am. So as I wrap up this video, I ask you, do you really want to continue being and believing like so many hopeful Hannahs out there who remain stuck and stagnant simply because they're going through their life with the wrong mindset? Or are you ready to rise into being a mogul Molly who is self-assured and empowered to navigate through life with an abundant be, do, have mindset? If you're ready, I invite you to click the button below this video to join the waitlist for my online coaching program called Beauty Funnel Academy. I created BFA to give you a step-by-step -step game plan for how to make consistent four or five figure months in your beauty business. We truly give you everything you need to make your success as a makeup artist or solo beauty pro non-negotiable. I hope to see you inside when doors open soon. If you were inspired or found value in this video, tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my weekly uploads. I'll see you next time.